it started just like any other evening, really. Um, I was at home watching television. And then outside there was this noise. It was a, a whoosh and a, and a bang, bang. Enough to shake the room. I could feel it. So I jumped up. I ran up to the front door and opened the door, went outside and, and John from over the road, he'd come outside, he'd heard it too. And then suddenly it was, it was like it snowed. But it wasn't cold. It was like a little blizzard around us and John was jumping up and dancing and playing with it. And, and I had it in my eyes and it was, and it was, and it was, and it was gone. <laughs> Just like that. Just as suddenly as it had arrived. And I, and I felt amazing. Somehow you just felt my head was clear, my, my thoughts, and I, I just felt so good. The next morning I felt full of energy. I, I could think quickly for the first time in my life. I had energy, I felt just a, a new man. Like we'd been part of something special. Something important had happened. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, I haven't really introduced myself, have I? Um, my name's... I Ian. <laughs> my name's... Ian? Uh, I have a job. I did have a job with, with numbers. I I'm, I'm married to... Um, to a woman, and we've got, we've got children. Um, I've, I've got children. Um, okay. um, can't remember their names. Anyway, like I said, after that, I just I felt so good, alive. It was. Sunday, I really started to notice. My wife made me a roast dinner because she knows I always really liked roast dinners. And I, it wasn't like I wasn't really, really hungry. Anyway, I, I came downstairs and the, the children were already tucking in and the smell was disgusting. And the look of it all Bizarre boiled bits of tuba, undigested chunks of bird with wings and arms. It's just it's not food. There's different plants, vegetable things. It's just it's revolting. They covered it with some greasy stuff, but trying to cover it up. But it was just bizarre to me suddenly. Don't get me wrong, I've been feeling wonderful since. But this wasn't right. You can't eat this. I suppose you must have noticed. I tried my best, but I just don't want to reach. It's disgusting. I couldn't eat that. It's just not edible. I tried not to let them see. Just pushing things around the plate a bit, you know. Eventually my wife asked me, what's the matter? Aren't you hungry? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. This isn't food. You can't say that though, can you? You can't just say, oh, this is revolting. Why would you give me this? But it was. The children started to laugh at me. I cut up one of the orangey, you know, the orange things, and put that inside my mouth. Oh, God. Oh, it was horrendous. Did all I could do not to be vomit there and then all over everyone. Oh, it was just disgusting. I can't express it into words, it was just so horrible. 
I was still so hungry. Over the next few days, I tried to eat anything, find anything that was food. It was impossible. I was starting to give up hope. And I went outside and it was okay. There, there, right in front of me, at last. Such a relief. I saw across the road, it was just like shimmering in the cold. It was so brand new that I could smell it from where I was. It was glistening, almost steaming, digested food. There was no one watching, I could just run straight over. And I was there, at last, food. I remember gathering it up in my hands and just gorging it into, oh, it was just so delicious. It was fresh and there were little bits inside it and, oh, there's, there's hard bits and soft bits and digestive juices running between. <laughs> melts in your mouth and you can grind your teeth into it and feed and eat oh to eat proper food oh feel it the smell rich aromas of insides i think it was an alsatians there's one around the corner but it was food it's just so much more satisfying, so real. It's like being free at last. <laughs> so I could start to eat and to live. And that's when it started. <sighs> you couldn't admit it, of course. You can't just follow dogs around and eat their feces. I didn't need to. Down at the park, there's a whole bin. Food. I was straight down there, but as soon as I got close, you could see. John was already there, gorging himself. He'd opened the bags and was, was scoffing away from my food. <laughs> he didn't really notice as I came up and joined in to start with, so it was... <laughs> it was okay. He was hungry too. And there was plenty to go around. We both ate and ate. <laughs> Little ones, huge giant greasy ones, bits of sweet corn that sticked in your teeth. We were both hungry, but not anymore. I tell you, we delved through those bags. We'd open each one up, drink down, some were hard and some were runny, and oh, the older the better the smell. Food at last. Nobody else would understand, you see, but John, John understood. He knew what it was like. We became so close. We'd work as a team. We knew when every beagle had diarrhea. You've never lived until you've licked up fresh diarrhea off the floor with grit and everything inside it. So refreshing. You feel so good. So alive. No. <sighs> uh, other people started ignoring me and I couldn't go to work anymore. They'd call me names and 
smell and something. And my wife. But I was hungry. And John knew we were hungry. I remember once John found a cat litter tray. And it was full to the brim. And we'd. Oh, oh crunchy. It was, it was delicious. There was no animal that could move around our area and we knew exactly when it had defecated. We could eat. We could eat, do you understand? John understands. John's there too. But you've got to eat. John understood. We started to send each other pictures. Fresh when we find them or, or pictures of us eating and, and all the videos and... <laughs> And he'd look so happy, and, and I'd send him pictures of me eating. We were, we were happy. And then my wife found the pictures and the videos. My, my wife, um, and, uh, and, 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 and she was... She was disgusted at me. Yeah. My children wouldn't even look at me. Then children, um... My little... Little... Ah. Everyone went away and I was just left with John. But we're still hungry. I'm still hungry.